so 194 days after we closed on our boat in the British Virgin Islands, we are setting off from Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale for our circumnavigation. We're doing it, baby. It's a little bit of a problem. There are several <laughs> situations today. Heading out on our own with our hope in the clouds. And we're starting to see that we're on to something. Feel it coming. We'll keep running. Nothing in our way. We got what it takes. Here we go. It is November 7th at 3 o'clock in the morning and today is the day that we start our circumnavigation of the world. I tried to lay everything out last night. So we had our life jackets, our Garmin, our charged iPad, marriage savers, my seasickness band that I'm going to wear. And Rob is just over here checking the engines. Good morning. You tried staying up last night, but you couldn't do it. Today's the day, dude. We leave the U.S. The last hour was just horrible. I could not sleep, so I decided to sleep for an hour, but I don't Let's just get out of here, and then you can go back to bed. No. Trying to find the home light. You gotta communicate, honey. You gotta communicate, people. Okay, well, the bridge goes in two minutes. We're not gonna make it. Hey, everyone's everyone's already left. Thank you, Davis. I know. Well, you need to go faster because they've left. Well, honey, they're already gone. Okay. I knew I should not have woke up. Our first bridge. Now two more to go. Ah. What do you say? Ah. All right. All three boats made it under the bridge. What are you doing, Shannon? I am getting ready to go through our second bridge. All right, here. You want to call him? Which one is this? Sheridan Street Bridge. Sheridan Street Bridge. Sheridan Street Bridge. This is Sailing Paradise of Falls. Requesting your next opening going northbound. Yes, 
she was running, man. I know. Geez. She was out of breath. <laughs> I don't think she knew what was going on. I said, we're good. Like Territory Bridge is selling us Paradise Falls. We are clear. Zisu is just behind us. All hold for Captain. Uh, you guys all, all you guys have a great night. Please be, be safe out there. Thank you very much. We sure will. All right, bridge number two done. One more to go. All two wells in front of us, and Zisu is just behind us. Dana Street Bridge, Dana Street Bridge. This is Sailing Vessel Paradise Falls. We are second in line for your next opening. Last bridge. We go ahead and get our life jackets on here. There we go. Davis had his on from earlier. Bridge is now opening up. And Shannon's going to take us through here. My third bridge of the morning. And it's not even four o'clock. <laughs> and I haven't had coffee. Because I'm trying not to drink coffee because I don't want to get seasick. So I'm going to go for some matcha tea this morning. Okay, get in the middle of the bridge. Davis is just sitting up there at the bow eating his breakfast. Watching tea, watching whatever on his phone. <laughs> He's enjoying the show. Bridge. This is Sailing Vessel Paradise Falls. We are clear. Thank you for the opening. We got Justin and his Captain Bob right behind us. And then right up ahead, we have our friends Kirsten and Don on All Too Well. We're all buddy budding over to West End today. Davis, can you do it once over and make sure everything's like tied down and nothing's gonna fall? Yeah. Thank you. Holy cow, we got a little marine traffic today. Big boat, big boat. And then we have this big cargo ship that's going out. Starlings put up, we are all buttoned up in the front, ready for open ocean, and Coming wow. out the Port Everglades Inlet. That's crazy. Same yep. inlet that we crossed the Gulf Stream the first time in 2018? 18, I think, yeah. Looks like I was terrified that time. Looks like, like we're following a ship out. How crazy is that? I might run right up his behind. So I guess <laughs> this is where our circumnavigation is going to begin. Coming right. out this inlet. All right, we're doing it, baby. Woo, high five. Davis, we're coming out the inlet. He's like, I don't care. crap and then out of nowhere this big cargo ship right next to us coming out the inlet are you excited to leave the u.s no not at all why miss friends and family davis has lost his luster in our sailing goals so 194 days after we closed on our boat in the British Virgin Islands, we are setting off from Port Everglades in Fort Lauderdale for our circumnavigation. Man, it's been a long time, but we're excited to be out here on the open ocean at sea. Yep, it begins. It begins. Are we in the Gulf 
Stream? We are not in the Gulf Stream just yet. We should be in there shortly and hopefully we'll pick up a couple of knots and uh, then we'll probably start actually an easterly heading and throw up the sails. It's a little confused seas at the moment. Oh my gosh. We just slammed twice really hard. Um, we were supposed to have like four foot seas and I think we're probably at six, maybe six and a half. So it's, it's not fun. It's a little uncomfortable. But so far so good with the nausea. Yeah. It's a little bit of a problem. Rob said he's got it handled. So I think we're going to have a pretty sunrise this morning. I'm trying to get a time lapse, but it's so wavy, it's like you're going to make you drunk. to the mast and he's trying to unwind that. All right, he got it unwrapped and now we're just trying to get it shackled back to the mainsail. Back in business. We always have the main halyard down here hooked to a cleat we keep it tight that way the sail doesn't pull up on itself or whatever um, this morning when we were leaving I was getting ready, everything ready I just loosened it up but we hadn't used the uh, main halyard in a little while and I guess the uh, well, this pin. The, the, the pin wasn't completely tightened down on the main sail and so it shook loose and the main halyard blew back into the topping lift and wrapped around it a bunch of times. So I had to go up and uh, in this hairy sea state using two boat hooks to unwrap it from there and then I've got it at the mast now. Um, I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to tackle going up part of the mast into the stack pack so I can reattach it to the Whoa, to the main sail, and we can do some sailing a little bit. But MacGyver did it. That's why I married you. Oh. Sweet baby Jesus. Like, it was not supposed to be like this. And I wish you could see. It's, I guess we're in the middle of the Gulf Stream, but holy cow. Davis, how are you feeling? Okay, sorry reason I Attention to the, um, the topping lift too in the back. That's the topping lift. It's still doing it. Because it's okay. this one right here. It's it's the topping lift here. Why is it having so much problem? 
Come it's, on. It's just making noise. All right, stop, stop. Are you up? Here. Hold this. What's this one? Hold this. What? That's because you got it. It's what? All right, that's it. So, we should be up. Get us back on horse. Huh? Get us back on horse now. All right. trying to trim the sails and get a little bit more speed here so uh but our auto helm keeps like rubs, skipping rubs, okay, it yeah. skips a little bit so uh i want to probably work on that when we get to the bahamas and uh try to get that to stop so we'll tighten and that our, chain up a little bit and our vhf we need <sighs> now the vhf works the problem is, is i don't know man it's it seems like if they don't have an issue, we've got an issue. I don't know. What do you so think? I don't know if we need to run a new line up the mast or get a new like, I don't know. thingy. That's a thingy, folks. Right there. Whatever. But even our handheld was having issues. So don't buy a cheap handheld VHF. We bought a cheap one for Davis to run around the marina because he broke the antenna to our other one. And they're crap. They are crap. Spend the money, buy a good VHF handheld. Sailing thing is hard. Everyone makes it look so easy, like getting the sails up and stressful. The sounds the boat makes, but when the lines are going through and it's just scary sometimes. know if you'll be able to see this but we've got like salt spray like just I feel like we're just pounding into these waves it's not a comfortable day I was so excited to sail today but I will tell you I've had to turn this armband thing up to level five I started off on level one this morning went to level two then the wave started like picking up went to level three and then I started yawning and I could tell like I was going to get sick, jack this thing up to level five. I think I feel better. I just hate if this thing dies. So I just looked at the clock and it's only 9.30 in the morning. It feels like it's like one o'clock or <laughs> two o'clock. I mean, oh my God. I feel like I've been on the never ending roller coaster that you get on and just like keeps going around the track. I think maybe it's starting to get a a little bit better. It's getting a little better. Um, there are occasional big roller come through here, just like that one. But um, for the most part, I mean, honestly, it, it's kind of calmed down a good bit. But, I mean, I feel pretty good. We're staying up with all too well. The other Leopard 45, the 42 with the captain is way up there. But he takes, he puts the sails out. I thought, we, I guess, kind of all thought like, okay, the captain like put his sails up, got his main up, got his jib up, and he like took off. I'm like, dang. Little do we know, 20 or 30 minutes later after we all struggled to get our mains up and our sails out in these, in these waves, he was like motoring also. So he didn't just take off with the wind. I don't know. He was motor sailing, so it was uh, one of those, yeah. <laughs> like, Surprise! Come on, come on. We're beating up wind, guys. And the waves are smacking the front of the boat, and we're still going seven to eight knots. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Who said sailing was relaxing? This is not relaxing sailing. It will be. Well, once we get that uh, go downwind, when we're headed to Panama and we're headed over to French Polynesia and we got the downwind sail going and it's just smooth sailing. I'm looking forward nice. to downwind sailing.
a good nap. I know. Welcome to your day. Oh, I know why you're up here, because we lost cell phone coverage. Oh. Uh. No, I've, I've not had it for the last five hours. Oh, you decided to come join the fun? Going to help me get the twist out of this lawn. So we have tacked. We're now going almost six knots. So all three boats have now tacked. I don't know if you can see all too well over there. Looking beautiful, guys. We are almost halfway there. Uh, looks like there are about 34 miles to go. We are on a heading of 092. Speed over ground is about between five and a half to six. It is. Uh, it's 12:30, so it looks like we're gonna get to uh, West End just a little bit after six, maybe 6:15, 6:30. Uh, just depending on everything, uh, the seas are still a little rough. Um, it's calmed down just a tad. Uh, we're not beating as much, but it is. Uh, yeah, you can hear the engine is still running. We're trying to make a run for it. So, uh, but we got the sails out here, and uh, we're. Uh, we're about 30 degrees off the wind angle right now, so uh, but I've got everything trimmed, so we're doing pretty good. It just uh, it's just tough going today. It's all it's tough going. It smells good in here. I'm cooking some biscuits, baby. I got me some cheddar biscuits going on, and we got some chicken in the pot. It's gonna be a good dinner tonight. So Rob's not only sailed the entire, manned the ship the entire day. Hey, He's it's, also it's our cook. It's all good. It's all good. There are several <laughs> situations today. Um, one situation we had, our uh, halyard was wrapped around the backstay because it had come off of the mainsail. Uh, we got that fixed and that was a challenge. Because the seas were really rough. It I mean, it was probably rough. six to eight foot seas. It was really rough. Uh, I was pretty scared, but I got the job done. I was pretty scared, but he was tethered we, to the boat. Yep. Yeah, we got up and we got sailing, though. I'll tell you what, we were doing like eight to ten knots at one time. We're, we're bringing up the rear, slowly but surely. We'll be there, and um, we're going to anchor out probably sometime in the evening. And uh, tomorrow morning, we'll check into West End and get moving on to uh, Mangrove Key. Yeah, all hopes are lost for getting there in the daylight. Yeah. All right, we got biscuits, guys. We got biscuits. Woohoo! Five o'clock update. We are still motoring. Got the mainsail out. Uh, we put the jib away. Uh, we are approximately 10 miles out from West End. So hopefully we get there probably around 645. We go ahead and get the Q flag out and get that set up and uh, we're going to move forward. Land ho! Whoa! You see land? Yup. If you see, there's a little pole sticking up. <laughs> going to raise the Q flag. Oh, I can see land. Oh, you can see it from here. Davis already called it. Uh, You're too late. Which is the top, which is the bottom? Ha! You're so funny. Can you imagine what he's going to be when he crosses the Pacific? All right, raising our first Q flag. Maybe. It's going up. It's gotta go the other way. It's going up. Here it comes. With technical difficulties. Here it comes. There it goes. And that's it. The sun has officially set. So now we've got maybe 30 minutes of light, which hopefully 
get to this anchorage and get the anchor down. I just dropped the mainsail all alone. Sorry, I was trying to catch the sunset. No, it's fine. It's uh, hey man, you got we got to run the boat by ourselves sometimes, and that's fine. <laughs> it's all good. It's everything always had. There's nothing for hours, and all of a sudden, in like two minutes, everything happens. Yeah, I just wanted to get it down before the sun went down, so we didn't have to worry about anything. Everything's tucked away, so we're good. So how far out are we? Uh, about eight miles. Justin and them are already there and parked, and they're gonna give us some good advice on anchoring. So. We'll see. What's the thing you should never do? It's come into a brand new anchorage at night. And what are we doing? Coming into a brand new anchorage at night. But at least we have two friends waiting on us, hopefully gonna help direct us in. This kid, don't mind the mess. I hate you. This kid's all like, I don't wanna go. And he's the first one that comes up the top and he's like, are you excited? We're here, we're in the Bahamas. It's only because it's our second time. And I wanna see it one last time. <laughs> one last time. Someone's excited to be here. I mean, we're all excited to be here. Heck. A little late than never. And this sadly is what it looks like to arrive in the Bahamas at night. So sad. Wasn't exactly the, the picture I thought it was gonna be. I just told Rob, I leaned over and I was like, hey, turn the AC down. Thinking that we were like sitting in a car and like the AC was blasting, but really. Don't worry, babe. I'll turn it down for you right now. <laughs> but really, it's just the cold air from the ocean. <laughs> we're here, guys. We're about to, we're probably about a mile away from Anchorage. And uh, I can see the other boats over there right now. They've already set up their set up anchors. And the most exciting part is yet to come. Ooh, anchor in the boat. In, in the, the dark. dark. Yeah, boy. For Shannon's second time. It'll be all right. We're good. Are you happy to be here? No. Here, head up a little yeah. bit. Hey. All right. So, we started the morning under the red light, and we're ending the day <laughs> under the in red light. In the dark, light. and we're ending in the dark. Not how I exactly thought this would go, but whatever. We're out here. This kid this morning was all bummed out. And about 10 minutes ago, he was all about the Bahamas. You haven't been here in five years, huh? I mean, sorry, three. Three, no, it's four. been a while. It's been four. five years. It's four been five about years. five years, so. But now you get to go scuba diving. Yeah. Yay. I think we're all excited to be here. No. Oh my God. What? Yeah. We're on the Bahamas. What? Look at the side of the water. Drive by light in the water. That's me. Looking at fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Oh my gosh, the light is so cool. Oh my God, what the heck is that? That's a stingray. A stingray? Look, look right there. Look right there. Yes, yeah, I know. I know. I'm, I'm anchoring. Whoa. Yes, people. This is so. cool. Alright, so we're gonna pull up right about, I guess about Here, maybe 10 or 12 more feet. Welcome to the Bahamas, you guys. Oh, oh. Thank you. Welcome to the Bahamas. Yay! We anchored. And the water looks amazing with the underwater lights. Come look at this. Look at that! We've already seen a stingray. We did it! I think we're anchored. High five! Good job, babe. Woo. Now it's time for a beer. Davis, what are you doing? Well, you can see I just caught one. Um, <laughs> We've not been anchored five minutes and the kid is like trying to finish. We made it to the Bahamas! Yay!